What's good? It's your boy Tweez and the homie. Mike James, what's good? Today we got something special for y'all. We uh actually was on Instagram and I found a black owned ramen company. So we're gonna test these flavors out. Don't understand unless you understood. Which one we got over there? What's that? Lamb. Like we got lamb stew. I don't know how that look on y'all's again. But uh, we got chicken taco. Chicken fajita and uh, seafood gumbo. That's pretty black. <laughs> I feel like they should have had a little bit more, some different flavors that's more appealing to the black culture. What you want? Yeah, macaroni and cheese, fried chicken flavor. Ooh, fried chicken, Joe. That would be too ratchet. So. Got some chopsticks, barbecue ribs, chicken flavor. Chill. <laughs> got some chopsticks, couple forks. No, I got the Texas Pete. You did. And uh, of course, you gotta have some water. Oh shit. <laughs> so we're gonna dig in. We're gonna start off with this lamb stew. I know it look kind of wild because it's on the plate, but uh, <clears throat> that's just because I wanted to make sure that all all the flavors got in there nicely. It's still hot though. You gotta turn that some little steam to it. Oh, damn, that shit kind of dry. Yeah, it dried out when I was cooking the rest. Let me see. You know what? Fork. I don't know why I was trying to be Asian. Niggas out here using. It. I'm gonna see for two. We're gonna split these up real nicely. All right, first taste. There you go. Of the lamb. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> it ain't bad. I see you, Mama Pat. Let's see what we working with. Cause y'all know it's gonna be hard to top them OG flavors. You know that chicken, that beef, right? That shrimp. For y'all weirdos eating Oriental, it's actually pretty good. The lamb straight. Got a nice little hint. I don't know. I mean, I know what lamb tastes like, but um, I mean, I guess it tastes like lamb. And it don't taste as salty mm -hmm. as the damn marriage and Thai ramen, if that's how you pronounce it. But this ain't bad though. You probably have some. This don't have some juice on it. That's one thing that I did notice. The regular top ramen that, you know, we grew up on has about 1,600 milligrams of sodium. Boy. Whereas these, it's one serving per container and it's only 365 milligrams. So that's a big difference, you know what I mean? That's like, uh, I ain't really good math, like a quarter. The, the sodium, the our regular kind. I so, don't know if that's a quarter, but we you know almost. Let me see, three, six, nine, twelve. Well, a little bit over a quarter, probably. Look. Yeah. But say like right there, you know. That wasn't bad. You gonna smash the rice? I mean, gotta make room for the rice. Let me see. We got. Now we're gonna try the chicken taco. Yo, how the 
man, that shit has steam on it, but it's got cold. Man, you know how noodles do, man. Don't act surprised. But it has steam <laughs> <laughs> but <I'm just> <laughs> Oh, this one got a little more juice. Oh, oh. some of the juice. Yeah, them shit's wet right there. Let me get them joints. All right, we're gonna get these. All right. We Damn, know. how long is they noodles? Damn. <laughs> Come on, bruh. This only you get mad noodles in one pack. Right. All right, eat this. I'm gonna just Chicken taco. It definitely smell like tacos. Let's see what we're working with, man. You know, kind of bust. They good for real. They kind of taste like. They taste the like um, chili powder. A little bit, but they good though. And I just I like it because they're not so salty. This company is based out of Los Angeles. I found them on a. Um, I can fuck with these just because. Um, because of, my bad, I blew that out. Um, <laughs> I can rock with these joints because, like you said, they ain't salty. And for all y'all folk out there with that high blood pressure and sodium. These might be for you. And high die, you got the diabetes of the sugar. These might be the ones. You know what I'm saying? Because I can't eat regular noodles like that. You know what I'm saying? But mm. only on the struggle days. But these right here. Yeah, these good. I'll this is. We two for two right now. You should have. This, you know, noodles are staple in the, in the black household. <laughs> So, uh, I mean, some white people too. You or know. the poor household, you dig? Because you know, you're right. going to switch up all the flavors. I'm just like 10 cent a pack back in the day. These were not 10 cent a pack. I will say that they were almost a dollar a pack. But, um, you know, support black business. It's all good. Support black business. Now we're about to rock with this chicken fajita flavor. Word. Let's see what this is talking about. Oh yeah, these are the ones that have been done was just recently cooked. Another thing, none of these colors look different. They season is gonna really change the color of the noodles. <laughs> and I put the season all through there. Let me stir it up a little bit. I got a question for y'all. We always have this debate. How do y'all cook y'all's noodles? How do you cook your noodles? Do you put the seasoning packet with the noodles and water while it's boiling? Or do you put the seasoning once you put the noodles in the bowl? You know what I'm saying? So let me know in the comments because the old heads put the seasoning in the water. Nah. While it's boiling. I feel like once you drain that shit out, you know what I'm saying? Damn, bleep that out. I ain't bleeping shit out. <laughs> I don't even know how to do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, all the old heads like the season the, with the water and all that. And it's gonna, I feel like once you drain it, the seasoning go the with season it. gonna go with it, you know what I'm saying? So, let's see what we're working with. What's this? The chicken fajita, right? Yeah, chicken fajita flavor. Alright. So, let me see. Hold on one second. So, how I cook my noodles is I boil the water, put the noodles in there, let them get soft a little bit, but not too soft. Get them in there, drain most of the water out. Then I'll take the noodles and put them in the bowl or whatever. Maybe put a little bit of butter, sprinkle the packet around. And if I need some water to help melt the butter, then I'll use like a splash. Right. But really, I can work with that, you know what I mean? So. That's pretty much how I do it too, but I probably like my noodles a little 
uh, tougher thing. I say harder, that sounds crazy, but I probably let my noodles a little tougher than most people. Because I feel like once you cook them too long, they're pretty nasty. So we got the chicken fajita flavor right here. Chicken fajita. Let's see. Smell like the chicken taco for real. No, it tastes a little different. It got a little spice to this one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's pretty good. Let's add a little bit of this Texas Pete. If you see it, throw us the sponsorship. Let's get them Texas Pete bottles for the free. I've been eating this all my life. Come on now. Facts. I would. I wish I had one of them coldest water bottles, but I can't seem to win one of them sweepstakes they have. But I be taking it. I be doing them surveys though. Yeah, go ahead and throw us that sponsor, man. <laughs> oh, you already know we rocking with, man. Dallas Cowboys all day. You already know. To all my Texas followers out there, you know. All my Cowboys fans, you know. You know, like, like us, man. Holla at us. You know, the team Cowboys over here. But um, this chicken for eating straight, though. I think so far, though, the lamb probably my favorite. That was the one I didn't want to taste. Mmm. Yeah, the lamb was good. All right, let me rinse my, rinse the palate. Facts, out here. Mix in flavors like liquor. <sighs> All right. Last one. Seafood gumbo. Yeah. It's that gumbo. This the one I want. Mm. This shit is steamy. It's steamy. <clears throat> it look a little dry, but I guarantee you it's not. It's good. Ooh. Shout out to the lights. We got some new lights, if y'all can tell. Yeah, man. You know we ain't dropped the video in a, about a month and a half because we've been rebranding. You dig? So we trying to get a little official with it. We got a new banner. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, check us out. Make sure y'all like and subscribe. I'm trying to be official. You know, quality over quantity, man. You know. Facts. And make sure y'all get y'all a little form of the t-shirt, man. If you're rocking with our beer products, we got t-shirts and everything. Just go to the link in the description. It'll take you right to the beer products, t-shirts, whatever you need. So Facts. check us out, man. Support black business. And we're going to drop a link in this for these noodles, too, because oh, yeah. I would definitely give them my blessing. You know what I'm saying? As far as promoting these joints, they are food. Hopefully, if they make some new flavors, they send us a box. Facts. I did. <laughs> I've been eating noodles for too long. We're going to send this video to them just to let them know how much we, we digging them. You dig? Seafood gumbo. This the one. That seafood gumbo the one. No. It's probably the most flavorful one, bro. They got a hint of a fish. <laughs> a hint of motherfucking <laughs> creek water. <laughs> but it's good though, it's good. That shit good as hell, boy. I can taste the, you know. You can really taste the, the fish. The seafood gumbo in this motherfucker though. And I can taste the spice, I can taste a little some sausage. <laughs> My beard and that shit too. Man. That, that is pretty good. tasty. Put it this way, if I'm hungry, I'ma eat it. And I really eat noodles on down days, so nigga, we eat noodles on on payday, nigga. 
Put some niggas on for that going. Going out. I like the texture of these noodles are different too. Yeah, I rock with them. I rock with the texture. They more, uh, they more, th they more thick. The noodles are thick. Mm hmm. Mm. That's pretty good, man. Shout out to these chopsticks. I never got used. Yeah, these some, uh, these some table beaters, boy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yeah. Get my quest love on real quick. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this is good, man. What would you rate one to four? Mm. One, I'm gonna have to go with chicken taco. Mm. Two, lamb, fajita, then the gumbo. I'm just gonna go lamb, fajita, chicken taco, and gumbo. Yeah, this is this is pretty good. Shout out to Mama Pat. Make sure y'all follow them on Instagram at uh, official Mama Pat's Foods or Mama Pat's Food. They based out of Los Angeles, California. Go get y'all a pack of these. Um, the packaging is fire. Yeah, I like the packaging. They did real good with that. Zero trans fat, low sodium. Mama Pat, you did your thing with that. I mean, I seen some people in the comments talking about MSG. Like, y'all don't please eat Chinese food. They throw MSG in Chinese food. You know what I'm saying? We good. Like, we good over here. It can't be nothing no different than what they've been selling us our whole life. So, support black businesses. Go get you some black owned ramen. You did. Yeah. <laughs> and uh Yeah, that's all I got. Let's see ya. Yeah man. Sure. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, cop a t-shirt, cop some beer products. Facts. Get your beer like this. Hey. You know what I'm saying? Man. And uh Tag everybody you know and send this out. Facts, facts, facts. Yeah, this, this was all right, man. Respect to... Respect to Mama Pat. Mama Pat. Yeah. <laughs> all right, we out. Like Rello's, an unwritten rule. Talk before school. Streets dropping jewels. Comprehend the lose.